Men are like a light switch, women are like a dial. That's why it's gonna be a different method to get a woman turned on and have a powerful orgasm than it is a man's. So let me explain. You have to understand that women are getting turned on by the context of a situation. I've talked about this in previous videos before where she needs to understand what's going on in all of her senses. So she gets turned on by her sight, by her smell, by her taste, by her touch, by what she's listening to. All that is what's creating the context to create an atmosphere for her to be able to get turned on. Where of course, like a man, what do we need? Usually it's just visual cues, but she needs more than that. And that's why it takes a little bit longer. And that's why, like I said earlier, she's like a dial that you need to turn up. So more specifically, she's gonna be turned on by the way that you smell, by the way that you talk to her. She's gonna be turned on by the way you look, by the way you behave. And it's not just one of those that's gonna do it. It's a combination of all of them together that creates the context that's gonna get her turned on. Next, there needs to be trust. And a woman cannot orgasm or get turned on if she's not with the man that she can trust. And here's the secret that no one tells you, is that the more trust that's created between her and the guy, the more powerful the orgasm can be. The more trust, the more she can let go, feel not judged, and be able to be turned on. Which I know, again, it's a little bit different for guys. Yeah, we need a little bit of trust, but it's not gonna be as important to a woman. I actually remember seeing a YouTube video here where there was a guy that went up to a hundred women and asked to sleep with them and 100% said no. And then a woman went up to a hundred men and asked to sleep with them and about 70 to 80% said yes. And that's right off the bat. So as you can see, trust is a big one. And like I said earlier, context as well. A woman's not gonna wanna sleep with a man if she doesn't have the full context. Next is tension. We're talking about creating a very powerful moment for a girl. And in order to have the powerful moment, you need to have that tension and build up that comes to the point of a bigger release. The more tension, the more buildup, the bigger release that can happen. And for a woman, that tension is actually what's turning her on and exponentially getting her more turned on when you're not just going for it. Of course, a man can be ready pretty fast and ready to just dive right in. But for a woman, like I said, it takes time. And the more that she can't get it, the more she's gonna want it. And the way that you're gonna build that tension is by leading the process. Women want to be led, especially when it comes to being in the bedroom. And it's a combination of leading her to the point, but also it's okay to ask her what she likes. It's okay to get informed of what actually turns her on. So now if you're leading her, you're the one who's initiating the kiss, you're the one who's taking her to the bedroom, you're the one who's initiating foreplay, and you're asking her what she likes, you're doing this combination of knowing exactly what she needs, but also leading so she feels that she's with a man who's in control and in charge, but also, more importantly, not rushing the process. And that's what creates that buildup. And to understand how to get it to the big point of climax is knowing that the most powerful orgasm that she can have with you is not the first one and very rarely will it ever be the first one because there's not gonna be enough trust there. So in order to get her to that point, understand that it's gonna take a few times of you guys being together that's actually gonna make it the most powerful it can be because it's gonna be more trusting. She knows you, she knows you're not going anywhere. She feels that you guys have already had this experience before, so she knows a little bit of what to expect, which can let her guard down. The less she trusts, the more tense she is, and the less she's able to let go and be comfortable. Remember, women are like a dial because of the fact that there's more risk. They can get pregnant. They can be shamed by society. For a man, it's quite the opposite, so it's a lot easier for him to let go when it takes her more time. 
And if you wanna learn the steps to actually making a insane powerful orgasm called the squirting orgasm, you can learn that on a video I have here on the screen. You can watch that, it's gonna take you step by step on exactly what to do. And you can also go to tripadvicecoaching.com, watch a short video there, where you're gonna learn how me and my coaches are taking guys to the point where they're able to meet and sleep with women that they never thought that they could before.